my hands are like, <laughs> my hands are shaking. I'm so angry. <laughs> and I laugh even though I'm so angry. Because if I don't, I'll just start Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome in general. Leave me a comment down below and tell me about your day using only five emojis. And today we are back at it, fresh year, but new hyped up products that I am very excited about. And so I bought them and we're gonna test them. And you may be wondering yourself, that's great, Rachel, but tell us about this ponytail. Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm very excited because today's video is sponsored by Insert Name Here, which is a hair extension company. They are female founded. The two owners, Sharon and Jordan, created this company all around creating really good quality hair extensions that are super easy to put in. I actually bought them to test for a video because I love a ponytail extension. I think they are so chic, just an easy, easy way to elevate any look without actually having to do anything. And so I tested out a whole bunch of different ponytails. And for me, my issue is that I have very fine hair and I find that most ponytails are a little too heavy for my hair type. However, when I tell you this, this ponytail right here, this is the Jordan. Jordan, your ponytail. So good. I think is their lightest weight ponytail out of all the different ones that they have. So you can see the before and after. You can see that my ponytail is a lot lighter than the rest of my hair, which is getting fixed. Actually by now it's already fixed, I hope. So easy to put in. They have these little prongs that you kind of like insert underneath the ponytail holder and flip up and then just wrap it around, boom. You're done. And you can see the before and after, like there is a big difference obviously between my ponytail before and after. And truly, truly, it does not feel any different than a normal ponytail for me. It's wild. So if you are like me and you have fine hair, I highly recommend, you can get color matched um, through their Instagram. If you send them a picture, they'll tell you what color you are probably most likely to love. I also have a discount code, 25% off. So you just use the code RACHLOVES. 25% off, which is like, that's pretty good. Big thanks again to Insert Name here for sponsoring today's video. I will link everything down below. Don't forget to use the discount code should you choose to purchase a ponytail for yourself. I love the Jordan so much, so I hope you guys do as well. And now let's dive into the makeup. All right, now that we're zoomed in, I got really excited and I like set my eye because I wanted to do the eyeliner that I got. Well, it's like an eyeliner product. It's very exciting. But thinking it through, I should probably start with the brows. It is a drugstore brow product called Thick It Stick It. It's by NYX and it's a thickening brow mascara. It's a vegan formula with fiber-like, fiber-like hairs. No, Rachel. Hair-like fibers. That's better. It is flake, smudge, and transfer resistant. So let's see what the... Mm, this shade might not match me anymore. You know what, we're gonna try it. It's not a good match, at least we can see what the product's like, you know? Okay, so first things first, read the instructions. Should I brush my brows first? Do I like set them first? Should you just not have any instructions and it should be pretty straightforward? Cool, okay. All right, I'm gonna start by brushing up the brow. See what I mean? Like this thing like barely touches it. I'll use this one. <laughs> I saw a couple comments, maybe not in the last one, but the video before, um, a couple of you guys were recommending getting like a bamboo, like a toothbrush thing. So I'm, I'm gonna look into that. I guess I'm gonna try just like brushing it in. This will be interesting because then we can see like side by side. Does it actually look thicker? Not that my brows aren't already pretty thick, but I do like a good thick brow. I know none of you like it, but I like it. Well, the product's in there. Uh, I don't know. Like I want to... I want to like set it now because it like that doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look good. But I feel like that's gonna ruin it. Ugh. What do I do? Do we risk it for the biscuit? I feel like we do. Should I wait until it dries first? Is it dry? Is that bad? I don't know. I'm gonna try and use a NYX product. I don't know why, but for in my brain, I think that that's gonna work now. <laughs> Let's try this one instead. Is it gonna be better? All right, you know, you need to warm it up a bit, <laughs> except for whatever reason, like right here. Why is this like not cool tone? Put that self tanner. Calm them down. Just like that, okay. Still got some bald spots in there though. Let me try and put a little bit, like a little bit more in. Just a little bit, okay. What about right here? Huh? I think it's the color though. In my head, I was like blonde. Yeah, ash blonde, that's me for sure. Forgetting that I, dyed my hair. I think the question is, do my brows look thicker? Are they like insta thick or are they like 
Wolverine. I don't want Wolverine. I want to be like an Insta baddie. Okay, having not put any other product in here and granted the shade isn't a perfect match, what do we think? Now I'm curious and I want to know if I can put my brow freeze in first and then put this on top. Will it will it take to my brow? I don't know. Because that's how I would want to do it. I didn't like putting it in just like a bare brow because my brow hairs were like, no, get this out of here. I want to put it in a brow that's already done, if that makes sense. <sighs> Gets me every time. Okay, so that's just brow freeze. All right, let's put some of this stuff on top. Oh, this is so much easier. I feel like it has something to stick to. I don't know if it's doing anything, but I like the application better. If it was, this would be useless. Did anyone else notice that one brow is a very different color than the other? It's weird. That's, that, what? I don't, oh, I bet I know what it is. If I don't clean off my brows before I put any brow product in, especially something that's like a liquid form, it, the color changes. It like mixes and reacts with whatever skincare I'm wearing and it just, it tints it weird. And I bet because I put on the brow freeze first, it sort of circumvented that. Does that make sense? I don't know. Do we like either of them? <laughs> I guess that's the real question. I feel like this one is more done. I, f I feel like I like this one better. I thought that I would like the other one better, but no. I don't know, have you tried this? Like, I, f I feel like I like it. I feel like I want to like this. It's giving me like, you know the hourglass one? Do I have it in here? Hourglass did one like this. I know it. Aha! Found it. Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I feel like this is like a dupe for that. Ooh, I should put that into, I'm doing like a, I'm pulling together products for like a dupes video. We're gonna test that out next. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I got some real good ones in there, like some new products. I'm very excited about it. So now let's even this out. Well, that didn't work. Had to take off this brow because uh, they wouldn't match. Anyway, let's move on and pretend I didn't spend 10 minutes trying to do one brow. But now I wanna go on to the product that I'm like the most excited about. And it's an applicator that's created for gel liners. The brand is called Guide Beauty. I had never purchased anything from them before. And it was originally created by uh, a woman named Terry. So she's a makeup artist and educator. And she was finding that a lot of her clients were coming back and experiencing frustrations in doing like a gel liner look or any sort of winged line. And I think we can all relate to that because that's so frustrating. There are memes dedicated to the catastrophe that is wing liner. And then later on in her career, Terry was diagnosed with Parkinson's and so she was experiencing a lot of difficulty in precision for a lot of the makeup looks she was doing and so Guide Beauty was born. So the kit comes with the really unique guide wand as well as the liner. So I chose I think the brown, yeah brown, but they have like a black one as well. And I'm really excited because it's supposed to make the process a lot easier. And it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it looks like a wand. It's coming to Hogwarts or something. Look how beautiful that is. I like <laughs> Speechless, it's so beautiful. So this is the lid, you take it off, and then on the inside is this really unique applicator. And so you're supposed to dip it into the product and then use this to price, precisely, I'm too excited, to precisely apply your liner. It has this little like notch thing right here so you can place your finger, it's really comfortable. Like this right here is such a cool, innovative, kind of addition to the makeup industry. And so I thought I would test it from the perspective of someone who isn't the most gifted at applying a winged liner. I wanna see how it applies in terms of effort, the amount of precision that you can use with it, how easy is it to apply, that kind of thing. It's stiff, but there's still some like give to it, which I like. And it's got like a hole in the middle so you can kind of see what you're doing and it's not gonna like cover the line entirely. You kind of want to get it on mostly the underside is my understanding. I tried to watch some videos and like make sure I was like applying this properly. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those products you kind of need to know what you're doing. So it says to guide the liner across both sides. The product by the way is a much stiffer, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a, a much stiffer um, formula than a lot of other gel liners that I've come across, which makes sense if you're trying to like drag product through it without like picking, like scooping it. And then once you have it, put your hand on the little notch here and then you just start tracing. 
I don't know why I went immediately into the inner corner having not used this product at all. Got a little carried away there. Try that again. Maybe get used to the product first, Rachel. Like that's pretty smooth. Wow, look at me go. Some people are saying to like hold it a little lower if you're going into the inner corner. Okay, I'm curious now because there is like a little flap of skin that just does not want to get covered and I'm just wondering if I can just make it look like a seamless line, you know? I can get so close to the lashes with this too. Okay, maybe that's a little aggressive in the inner corner, but like that's among the smoothest times I've ever done that. Whew, that's, that's spicy. Can we go with my spicy makeup? Okay, I'm gonna leave the, <laughs> the inner corner thing for a minute. <laughs> I'm like fiddling with it. I'm like, mm, I don't think that looks right. Let's instead try the outer corner. So for me, because I have this piece of skin that goes down and then I have the flap that ends here, I tend to like go out a bit with my, with my wing. Again, I've never done it with this kind of a product before, but I always want to go past the fold because otherwise I find that the, the wing gets a little wonky. <laughs> well, I'm not good at it. <laughs> Let me try that again. Let me try it. This is my first try. I feel like I'm at a golf game. Silence. I mean, that's a, that's a, I mean, it's a bold wing, <laughs> but I did say Instabatty. What do we think so far? I mean, I, I have some areas, but see, see this little flap of skin here? This thing, this is the reason I don't do a lot of like wings like this. This piece just doesn't want me to. Honestly, that is a bold wing. It's a bold wing indeed. Okay, hang on, let me get the other side. I, just, I, I feel like there's something here. Oh my goodness, guys. When I tell you, I have never been so mad at my eyes before. I am this close to yeeting myself out a window. So let me explain what's going on. My eyes decided today um, that they wanted to just pretend they're not on the same person. They wanted to be different today. Aren't even like, oh, they're sisters. They're not supposed to be twins. No. So anyway, I have been struggling to um, get eyeliner on my eyes to look even remotely like the same eyeball. And it's just, it's just, it's not working for me today. It's not working for, and it's not the tool. The tool is fine. And I, quite honestly, I don't love the liner as much. I find it's, it's getting a little bit, um, Chunky. It's not my favorite, but I have been uh, experimenting with it in the process of taking off and putting back on eyeliner. I've been using the ABH Black as well, sort of just experimenting to see if you can use other gel liners, which you can, but the important thing with this tool is it's not going to change the shape of your eyes. So if you have a um, eye shape that doesn't love liner that maybe you have two different eye shapes or I, I don't I don't know but whatever it is that doesn't help it I'm just over here just a bus of struggles so before I go any further into this and um, decide what I want to do with this liner I do want to say the tool is good the tool is good the liner isn't my favorite but um, yeah my eyes are just not having it today <laughs> I'm gonna move on to a mascara that I have been very excited to try, and it is the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. I've heard so many incredible things about this. It's smudge-proof, beautiful, big, bold lashes, and I feel like we need this today. So the wand itself, it has this like hourglass shape to it, um, but it's got those like rubberized silicone um, little wand lash. I can't, I don't have words still. <laughs> like blackout rage. It's rubberized. Can you see? So please, please mascara, please be good because I need, I need this today. Okay. It definitely gives more like separated kind of lashes. That is one very soft coat. Let's build it up though. Honestly. Okay. I'm starting to feel a little better now. My hands are like shit. My hands are shaking. I'm so angry <laughs> and I laugh even though I'm so angry because if I don't I'll just start crying. Okay, I think 
I think that I think that looks good, right? Maybe it's just in comparison. I think it looks good. I do need a little bit of liner on the um, the waterline. We feel that that always like ties the look together, you know. Okay, so mascara, no mascara. I feel like it. I think it looks good. I feel like you can definitely see like a significant like va va voom to the lashes. I'm excited. Okay, it's okay. We're going somewhere with this. Like, look at my lashes. They definitely need like a recurl, but like again, I do that with every single mascara. And before I go and recurl those lashes, let's go on to the face. Just give the the eyes a break. And we're gonna be testing out this new one from e.l.f. And I feel like everyone has been talking about this, not just on TikTok, but YouTube, I've seen a ton of videos, Instagram, a ton of the products that they recently launched have sold out online. I couldn't get my hands on them. And one of those products is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I read the name and I was like, this is this is meant for me. I love a gripping primer. You guys know how I feel about the Cover FX gripping primer. I think it is fantastic. A lot of people swear by the um, Hydro Grip Primer, I believe it's called, from Milk Makeup. So this is a hydrating gel primer that has hyaluronic acid in it. It's going to help grip all of the makeup to your face and it's also gonna hydrate and like plump the skin, which we, we love, we love that. I have been screaming from the rooftops of YouTube since way before hyaluronic acid was cool, how much I love it. And it was so hard to find for a long time and I was like, why is no one talking about how great this is? It's so good. It feels really nice and refreshing on the skin. It's got that nice like, like stickiness, tackiness to it that I really like, but it doesn't, feel tacky until it's like set down on the skin, which is nice. Like when you're trying to like, you know, rub a product in, you don't want it to be like tacky right away. Okay, like it's starting, can you see that? It's starting to feel like nice and tacky, which makes sense because it does say here to wait 30 seconds before applying the rest of your makeup because you do want it to get that nice, like sticky consistency. So now let's put a foundation on top and we're gonna use one that I know works well, partly because I wanna know how the, um, primer works, but also partly because now I'm scared because so many products are failing me today. And by products, I mean my face. So I'm using my, what is this? I'm using my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation. It is unbelievably good. And it works really well with the cover effects gripping primer. So I feel like it'll work well here. I mean, it works well with everything. This is one of those foundations that just, that just works. Like, look at this finish. Why does no one talk about how amazing this foundation is? It is so, Underhyped. A little splash of concealer right there. So far, it's is looking majestic and magical, and I love it. Primer is working real well. But now we need to set our face, and I'm using a powder. I have never tried this brand before, I don't think, anyway. Got it from Sephora, and again, people were using this powder, and they were like, no, no, don't share it. It's like my secret. Because apparently it's absolutely incredible at making your skin look super smooth and flawless. And it's the, I, I'm gonna butcher this name and I apologize. I believe it's Kosa's Cloud Set Baking Setting and Smoothing Powder. It has skincare actives in it. It's supposed to minimize shine, the appearance of pores. So we're gonna try it out and see what the fuss is about. Ooh, the packaging's really cool. It like feels luxe because it's matte. I don't know if that makes sense. Now it seems like they're using like an angle brush type of thing on it. I'm gonna do this. That's what people seem to... What on earth? It's like not coming off. What is happening? Do not tell me this is not coming off. I do, I do not need this today. <laughs> nothing. There, nothing. Is this like common? Okay, now I need to do a little research. Hang on. I... I can't find anything. I, I must have gotten one that's been um, like baked for a while, but it, it just like nothing's coming off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something that everyone hates. No one wants, no one wants me to do this. I'm gonna scrape at it. Just like the edge, I just wanna see if I can pull up a little bit off the top, if it's fine underneath. Oh my goodness, this feels so wrong. I'm like doing this over top of my garbage can. <laughs> Seriously, do you remember when the elf I don't know what it was. Was it the high? It was the highlight, maybe, right? The highlight. It had to. You had to like <laughs> dust off a whole bunch of the top layer because it was baked on, 
and then it was a great product. Okay, now it seems to be picking up product. I like just did the like this part down here. Oh my goodness, now it's, yeah, now it's really coming up. Okay, okay, not that much. And then we set. I'm just doing one side because I want to see if you can see a difference. By the way, <laughs> it feels weird, but I'm, I'm taking this and I'm patting it in because that's what other people seem to be doing. Also in trying to find if anyone else had a similar issue to me with like the powder being dry on top, there was a mixed bag of people just saying like, oh, it's not good if you have super oily skin. It's very much like the um, Bare Minerals powder so just as a heads up all right so that is it on my skin right now on half of my skin what do we think might have chosen a slightly too dark shade but we're gonna move past that today still a very glowy sort of finish to the skin so i'm curious how this holds like is this gonna start looking really greasy by end of day i don't know time will tell well looking at it on camera you wouldn't you don't know that I was really struggling with this today. I think we ended at a very regular place. So I'm gonna walk away from this mess of makeup. Don't even wanna look at it right now. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit and we'll see how everything's looking. All right guys, this is now the end of the day. This is what my makeup is looking like. Let's talk about it. So the, for the most part, it seems to still be intact. It does feel and look a little heavy though. Like you can see it sort of bunching up around my nose a little bit and then it's getting a little bit creasy under my eyes, which I'm not loving. There are also some specks of mascara underneath my eyes, just a couple, uh, not too bad considering it is the end of the day. And like a weird grouping of um, pores, I want, I want to say it's pores. Just like a clump of this weird on my forehead. Anyway, so I might try a lighter hand with the powder next time. I don't think I like it for under the eyes though. Brows have stayed put though. Look at that. That looks like a good brow. Proud of me. <laughs> this is a whirlwind of a day. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products before, if you recommend them, or if there are any ways, like tips and tricks, you know? Always looking to learn. I have the products, I might as well find a good way to use them. Big thanks again to Insert Name here for sponsoring today's video. You can go and check out their ponytails and all sorts of other hair extensions in the description bar below. And don't forget to use the coupon code RACHELOVES for 25% off. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any and subscribe. New videos here every single week. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys next week. Mwah.